Hi, this is Jonathan. I um, just wanted to come to you today to show you how I have my Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski rigged. Um, as you can see, we'll start at the bow of this particular boat and then continue down to the stern. And I'll briefly just cover everything that I have um, on this, at least currently. So, as you can see here, this is the uh, bow motor mount that you can purchase from Sea Eagle. Um, it's made to add a trolling motor to the front of the boat. Uh, for right now, I do have separate holes drilled for the um, Bixby power pole mount because uh, my thought was I was thought about trying to put a front Bixby uh, on this for a trolling motor. I need to lengthen the shaft on that, so I'm not going to do that right away, but that is in the plans uh, to continue. So, as you can also see here, there is a D-ring under the front of the bow, and you can use that, you know, for tying up to docks, or, you know, even if you wanted to throw an anchor out with, you know, not a lot of current or anything like that. If you were just, you know, pulling it up on a beach somewhere or on a ramp, you know, you could easily tie that to something. All right, coming back, you can see that the yoke that you get with the uh, paddle ski, I have two Scotty uh, rod bases or just base mounts in general on here. One of them does have the... Um, I guess the anchor lock, I'm not sure the exact uh, name of that, but I will have an anchor on that. I don't have it on right now. Um, you know, I'll do that at a later date. And of course, there's also another Scotty base on the back end of the motor mount. But the star, I guess, of the front is the Scotty uh, boat caddy. Um, if we look at it, it has, and this is going to be for the person up front, whether it's the passenger or, you know, if I'm fishing off the front of the boat here, you've got a cup holder. I do have my fish grips. They're probably not going to stay here, but, you know, that's a good place for them for right now. I just had them uh, secured on there with the T-Rain. And then you can also see you've got a mounting place for your phone. You've got all these other places for pliers, ut uh, tools, utility knives, you know, pretty much anything you need. This spot over here does have a magnet in the bottom of it. So if you wanted to throw in lures and, you know, let them dry or, or keep them secure in there, you can. It does have some drainage holes in the bottom of that, so you shouldn't have to worry about anything rusting. And that's it there. And that just attaches into a... Uh, Scotty base. And as we move back, the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. This is the 13x13 13 13 model, and I have two waterproof tackle boxes in there, and then a money bag in there that has a lot of my soft plastics. Um, and as we move back, you can see I have two rods and a net up front. The 13x13 13 13 does come with three rod holders. Um, so that's how I have that currently set up. And, and, and right now, this, this boat is set up for bass fishing. Um, you can do, you know, crappy fishing, trolling, pretty much anything you want with this platform. And then look at that, all of this wide open deck space that we have between... And, and basically, that's going to be my standing platform there between the front rod holders and the back seat. So that's where I'm going to be mainly when I am, uh, you know, getting on the water, using the Bixby motor. Um, I do not have the transom mount on right now, but I will come back and show you that after I finish the stern of the boat. But coming to the seat, we do have a Sea Eagle uh, life jacket in there, which is actually really comfortable. Um... Here's the seat. It's like a traditional style boat seat, um, and it, it feels really good. Um, I don't have it locked in right now because I'm getting ready to uh, deflate everything and get it ready for um, a trip out on the water this weekend. So stay tuned for that. And I do have the Lowrance Hook 5 
Um, this is the one with the triple shot transducer. But I have that on a combination of Scotty mounts. Um, so basically what I did here, I have a Yak Attack switch pad mount. And I used the um, Mighty Mount switch for the top of that. So this Scotty transducer arm is uh, connected in there with the Scotty gearhead. And then I have their uh depth finder mount uh, it goes up to nine inch trans uh, not transducers nine inch uh depth finders so i could put my big you know garmin 93 sv on here if i wanted to uh, but right now we just have the lawrence hook five and that's probably all i'm really going to need uh, for this and then you know with this scotty mount nothing is you know bolted or anything like that so everything can slide down when it's ready to hit the water so now as we move back we've got the scotty triple rod holder and this is the mount this this basically uh this base plate here from scotty came with the boat i did add a switch pad on both sides of this boat back here to add more mounting platform um, but as you can see this is the one that came with the boat I added a Scotty triple rod holder, and I have two rods sticking out the back there. As you can see on the other side, you've got holes where you can hang lures, knives, you know, similar to the, the front boat caddy. Uh, you can do that back here as well. So moving to the back, you've got the stern, you've got your transom. And this is where the uh, Bixby transom mount is going to go. I will be using the Bixby J2 motor with the bigger PP768 battery. Um, that does have the 13th speed. You know, it's, it's more efficient. It is heavier, um, but there is uh, better efficiency there. So that's, that's nice. This cable right here, this is actually going to connect my... Uh, Lowrance depth finder to the PP166 or I do have the PP77 AP the all-purpose battery from Bixby um, this can power that and that's probably what I will end up doing I just have it uh, you know tied on here with one of these night eyes ties and I also have a USB uh, cable going from that all the way up to my GoPro and that's just sitting on a rail blaze amount. The nice thing about the, the Bixby 768 battery is you do have T-channel all around the, the battery. So it does allow you to you know, mount things that you wouldn't normally be able to mount on a battery. So coming over to this side now, we do have uh, another rod holder uh, facing the other direction. And this is using the regular Scotty uh, pad that came with the boat, but I did put on a Mighty Mount switch um, to that. And then, of course, you can see the one that I added up here. Um, I have just a cup holder on this side. You know, it can be for cups. It can be for pretty much anything. You also have the one objective, um, you know, I can't remember exactly what they call it, but, you know, it's, it's made to go around the Yak Attack cup so that you can store, you know, pliers or... Uh, lures or anything like that around it so let me go ahead and stop here i'll put the bixby transom mount on i won't put the bixby on for right now but at least you can see how it attaches and where it goes from there all right i'm back and i just wanted to show you what the bixby transom mount looks on the back of this paddle ski so it's an extremely easy way to attach the bixby to this particular platform and you, you are able to, you know, basically kind of set your trim and height of the motor in the water, everything like that. It mounts just like you would a normal, uh, you know, transom motor or anything like that. I do have a Minn Kota trolling motor that I can put on this as well. But, you know, it's going to require me to either buy a different battery or, 
a heavier, you know, use the heavy deep cycle marine battery that I have. But this Bixby unit, you can't beat the portability and how lightweight it is. Even with the new 768 battery weighing in at roughly 25 pounds, you're still you're still doing a lot better than than some of the others, you know, with with weight. So here it is, the paddle ski rigged up, and ready to go for this weekend. If you have any questions, comments, just leave them down, and um, I'll get back with you. And hey, we can we can go on this adventure together.